everyone. Jeff from Smart Deploy here to step through deploying applications using the Smart Deploy console. In our little demo here, I have the console up, and on the right, I have my virtual machine with a fresh installation of Windows with the default apps and our Smart Deploy client. So let's deploy an application. We'll go to the application packs, and we'll download one that, from our library that's made available. You can search this. Let's go with Chrome. Select it and download, and it'll be added to our application pack library. And here we can see information like the version of the pack and the version of the product inside of the pack. We'll head over to computer management and select our client that we want to deploy Chrome to. We'll go deploy applications now. As you can see, you can schedule this for a later time. You can even allow the user to defer deployment if you like. But for now, we're going to deploy immediately. And just like that, it's kicked off. We'll let Smart Deploy do its thing, and we will see Chrome appear on our client here. Now, we are going over our local network in this instance, but you can also deploy ap applications via the cloud. And so, we've got Chrome installed. Let's give it a test open. Running like we need it to. All right, and that's it. So say you want to create your own application pack. Let's walk through that. We'll go back to the application packs workspace. We're gonna create an application pack. And open the application manager console. We'll file new, pick a place to save it. We're gonna install TeamViewer. So we'll call this SPK file TeamViewer and save it in our application packs folder. And next, fill out some information. We'll call it TeamViewer, a publisher. We'll just put TeamViewer here as well and give our pack a version. This is the first one we're making, so we'll call it 1.0. And this is TeamViewer 14. And we can leave the rest of this stuff as is for now. We'll go to the file section and we're gonna add a file. Now I've downloaded the TeamViewer installation. So select TeamViewer setup. And we got it here. Now we'll go to the tasks portion and add some commands to run. First, we're going to select the executable so it knows where to find the file. And then I'm going to give it some arguments to install silently. Now, TeamViewer specifically uses front slash s, and we can go front slash no restart. So our clients don't unexpectedly restart on us. With that, we'll save. And we're done here. We got our Team Viewer app. So, just like Chrome, let's head over to Computer Management. Select all computers. We got our client here, and we're going to deploy now. Select our Team Viewer pack and kick it off. All right. Now we'll wait for Team Viewer to appear here. And so, as I said, these uh. These clients are on their local network here, but you can do this over the cloud if you have remote clients, which is pretty neat. All right, so TeamViewer, just like Chrome, magically appears for us. We'll give it a test open. Make sure it's working like we need it to. All right. And that's application deployment. I hope that this video has cleared, uh, cleared the process up for you. Hopefully it helps. You can always reach out if you have more questions. And as always, thank you for watching.